Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In today's episode, we finish exploring the beach and we move on to a bigger, better world. Or is it actually better? We do not know. Enjoy. I've got it. Is this where everyone's chilling? Yeah, I'll this. Up some water. We'll have a spy at that leg up here. Theodore said you had Should to bail him out of trouble. Oh, oh, and these strange things will come and follow you. What a mess. We'll be needing help getting the Defiant off the ground. Not much chance of us moving the ship on our own, but we're in charted waters. There's bound to be a town nearby. We got turned around in that storm. Our... Mm. No quiet. Magnum We're under a damn some of us barrel. simpler trials than others. Got it. Go find people. Map did everything in this zone. Yeah. I wish I knew it was in that crate that you save. Known locations. In the distance you see a simple wagon, the angle at which it rests on the road, one side jetting above the other suggests it has been damaged or disabled. Even from your vantage, you can make out kith milling around it. I don't know what kith are. Let's find out. The word kith is used to describe the dominant civilized races of era, including humans around... Okay, so it's just all the races. Approach openly, because we don't give any fuck. The language, again, Chris. We don't give a hoot. Holler? We don't give a crap. That's safer, I think. As you near the cart, you make out a group of... Reedogren? Reed Seren pilgrims in rough spun lines and cottons. A single draft horse attempts... Stomps up the ground impatiently as two of the pilgrims argue over the front right wheel which seems hopelessly stuck in the mud. I am a terrible at reading, so I apologize ahead of time, everybody. One of the pilgrims notices you, her step back draws the attention of the others, and the man in the well-worn gumson steps forward. The weight of the deep concern Oh, a weight of deep concern hangs on his face. Did the dreams bring you here as well? The one pilgrim looks at you with a mix of apprehension and hope. The older pilgrim's mouth opens in amazement. You hear the gas from the other. They look at each other, excited in their eyes. Praise him. The old man cries out, we are not alone. We had the dreams too. We saw the three stars sailing through the sky, piercing the black from a storm cloud. Figured it must be him, Ethos, calling to us. So we came here, to the place we saw in our dreams. The pilgrims look around, watching their sleeping memory to the present. We saw the giant pass with the three stars on his brow, but... He sighs and gestures at the wagon stuck in the mud. Sad to say, we could not follow him. Wheel st stuck and stuck it gets. 
None of us are strong enough to lift the corner up to get something under it. More than one of us has tried and yet we get in each other's way. Why do you just take the shit out of the wagon and lift it up, you fool? The other pilgrims nod and stress suddenly remembering their aching bodies. Why well, just wish upon a god and lift the thing up? Well, probably shouldn't thread. Brief inspection reveals that the wagon is undamaged with the wheels stuck fast in the mud. We have some wood, the old man says. He gestures to the back of the wagon. If you can get the wheel up, we can slide it underneath it. Inside the wagon, you see several planks of wood. A small box of valuables is next to it. One of the younger dwarfs look at you's eyes wide. Reckon you can lift it? I mean, I am a burly, strong warrior. Guarantee you I can. I'm not gonna steal this shit either. Wait, this guy has more strength than me? Damn! Edder squares themselves with the West Corian. Squats deep and wrestles the wheel from the mud. The younger dwarf stands in shock for a moment, rejecting in time and thrust the bubble. I mean, this character is totally fucked up. He's a rogue. That language, he said. Totally messed up. He's a rogue with uber strength. Oh, well, they're singing praise to my guy. That's cool. Smile and letter presses a small pouch of coins in your hand. We appreciate the help without you. Who knows how long we would have been stranded here. They began to repair their wagons as you take your leave. You have gained an item. 15 silver fenning. Cool. The old man calls out to you as you go. Take care of yourself and your soul, traveler. Whenever you come for ethos or not, we know in our hearts that he came for us. Glad to have helped. So. A cool little encounter. Quick save. Thick woods spread to the east of Port Maja, slowing your travel. Birds filter above you, flutter, 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 flutter above you, and insects drone incessantly. Path eventually gives way to a game trail, then to no path at all. You find a curiously marked tree and a bark gauged way in a pattern. The situation seems to run upward. Set. Serrations. Dirt. From right to left. Just shy of vertically. Well, luckily, I am all kinds of survival. The depth with the gash to the test of a boar and the crying test brow for you is just go wood. Okay, so it's just a boar. Quiet rustling in the underbrush draws your attention. Northward, deeper into the forest. <laughs> the sound approaches a tall aquarium. Almerium? Um, 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 I don't know. I'm going to have to look up how to pronounce some of these races. My bad if I'm butchering the crap out of this game for everyone. Appears through the vegetation, man with red hair, frames his head while the boar hides drapes from him. Ah, his form. Wow, I cannot read today. Stranger still, the severe wild boar. Attend him. Their heckles up in their snow. So he has a pet. Question is, do they want to fight me? Another person press. No, never talk. Just go. Leave this forest. Go leave these islands. Go return from where you've been. They always think they know better than this kith in this wood. Then when they need help, they always go ask me. 
you go. Speak quickly, then. Your words disturb this place. Then you think the Juan are here to serve you? Akara, they are not. I say always, those who come to these islands, they want to take, only ever to take. Learning. The Boar teach much about survival, if one listens, if one watches. So sing, so say those who know. Yeah, that made a whole bunch of sense. Learning the boar teach much about survival. Oh, so he's studying the boars to learn how to survive. But that's just probably like what their tribe does. God. No, your sort always want. This forest is not yours. This land is not yours. Go, leave. The man frowns, then pulls a leather wrapped pouch from his inbound hands. That's cool. Then go, take this. They protect you if you speak true. They tear out your throat. Always wanting more. I've given you what you asked for. You go now. Kind of want to kill them. Not gonna lie. I think this is just like a combat arena where I could have fought him and there's actually nothing of interest or use around. You must yeah. gather your party before venturing forth. Side of a recent battle spreads for you, the bodies were first to the fact. Picked clean by a scavenger to be search the location, two hours past. Find a mountain they sort of coins and warriors' remains. You gain the item 72. A zoom nutshell. What happens if I just keep sitting here? Stuff in the top right, injured crew. So I guess I was supposed to just keep searching it over and over again. Those are some big feet. I'm gonna quick save this because this does not look like I'm making a smart decision. The trail before you seems thoroughly disturbed by the erratic tracks. The sparse plants to the immediate sides of the path were roughly mangled. Struggle may have occurred here. It takes you only a few moments to make up the sense of the chaos. No blood spatters against it was not a fight. You end this least for Crown Prince of Earth. The tracks seem recent. A dry and rubber vine has been pulled taut across the path and covers the dirt. Beyond a group, the roped figures cringe in a cowering at the nearby river's bend. Each is frozen in place, ashen and gray like students crafted soot. 
Disarm the tracks and collect this car. Here are a series of quiet trips and grass to make up the moments of small fern stone growth. Draw your weapons and attack. Because experience. Okay, might have not been the right call. Things need to die. I don't have any healing left. Got it. What do you need? Let's go. Kill. Take him down. Well, we won. I need to give him more stuff. Two of those. Still in the signs of Brunath. How much longer are we gonna wait? There's way well, around half our stuff to take kind of So that's from the the people inside the cave. Where bony teeth.
Well, that's weird. Just like disintegrated those dudes for no real reason. Desperately need a healer, that's for sure. Relying on items for healing is so... It's not the greatest idea. It's at the dig site. Cause I have no idea. Hey, my girlfriend made it safe to where she was headed. That's good to know. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And in the next episode, we find out what's going on in the dig place. And it might be a hard fight. Enjoy. Dig out.